Minneapolis found itself in the center of the national spotlight over race relations three years ago. Now, several national organizations are giving their time and money to the Twin Cities. Rex Chapman shares the impact historically black fraternities and sororities want to have. The men of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated are holding their 10th district conference in Minneapolis. They come from throughout the Midwest, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota, and are making their presence known in the land of 10,000 lakes. It's an infusion of capital into the city. Let's be clear, millions of dollars are coming to the city this weekend to help community, and then that can be turned into investing in our community as well. James Burroughs is a proud member of Omega Psi Phi. He and his bros are doing their best to come into this community and make an impact. The Cues, as they are often called, not only partnered with the People of Color Career Fair, they also sponsored a youth leadership conference at a local high school. We've also collected a thousand books um, by African American authors that we're going to distribute out to um, the kids in the schools here. Um, we also had a blood drive. The men of Omega join a list of historically black fraternities and sororities that chose Minneapolis as a place to hold their conferences. Two weeks ago, the women of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated held their regional conference in Minneapolis. Their brothers of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated held their leadership conference the same weekend. Last fall, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated had its conference here. All had the same reason for choosing Minneapolis. We're the home of the murder of George Floyd, and three years ago we were saying, what can we do as a community? And I'm impressed that my fraternity decided in spite of that, they want to come here, have their district convention, and understand that they can help and put back into the community all these seven, over 700 black men coming to town to address scholarship, manhood, you know, uplift for the community as well. Reg Chapman, WCCO News. The men of Omega are inviting anyone to come out and support their scholarship fundraisers. Chubb Rock performs Friday night, and there's a sneaker ball set for Saturday, and we have details of uh, those events and more at WCCO.com.